friends, it's Camille and today's video I'm showing you how I did this hairstyle and a super easy makeup look that's perfect for festival season and any other time you're feeling a little sparkly. I love glitter so I'll wear this on any occasion but it's definitely great for festivals. I'm starting off with a blank slate, washing my hair and getting out any buildup, conditioning it and then doing a really good detangling job. And it's super important for the style because we'll be braiding it, so detangling really well will definitely make that a lot easier and it low-key feels good on your scalp, so that's another perk. Then I'm running my fingers through my hair to help add volume and define the curls and this is what it looks like when it's drying but still damp, which is the best time to braid curly hair in my opinion. And I'm using a spray bottle of just plain water to keep the hair damp while I'm braiding it to make it easier to work with and then using a comb to make a zigzag part down the center. And I couldn't find any of my regular ones and for some reason I have this wavy comb so whatever, it's a bit offbeat but it works for what I need it for. Then I'm sectioning off the hair at the crown of my head which is where I want the braids to go, clipping the other hair out of the way and making the sections a bit neater. The first product I'm using is the new Aussie Gloss Over Glossing Cream that just came out and I'm always really excited to get my hands on new Aussie products so thank you Aussie for loving me and sponsoring this video. Love you too by the way. This is one of my favorites of the new launches because the cream is perfect to use when braiding my hair to keep it smooth and incredibly glossy. It's crazy. And it's infused with Australian jojoba oil so it's moisturizing, strengthening, and has vitamin C. Once everything's sectioned out, I'm doing a Dutch braid down the center of the section, ending at the back of the section, and continuing into a regular braid. It's so much easier when your hair is damp, detangled, and have the gloss over cream in it. And it also lasts a lot longer without frizzing when you do it this way, which I love because I spend so much time doing my hair and I want it to look good for as long as possible. Then I'm using a clear little rubber band to tie off the end of the braid so it doesn't come undone. Then I'm moving on to the other side and doing the exact same thing I did on this side. Wetting it, detangling, parting, and glossing that baby before going in for the braid. I think I'm better at the pink side because every time I do this style it's always so much easier, but with practice it gets a lot easier. Once the braids are finished, I'm grabbing a section of dry and fluffed out hair that I'm using to create volume for the buns, twisting it into a bun and then wrapping the braid around it for that cool braided texture with the added size of the fluffed out hair to make the buns bigger. All these techniques are totally made up by the way because I know my hair and what it likes and how it behaves so I think experimenting with your own hair is a great way to come up with creative ideas so never stop trying out new ideas. The rest of my hair dried while being stretched back which I don't usually do but for this look I'm using a tiny curling wand so it doesn't really matter how your hair dries first but if you prefer no heat, feel free to section off the top and then let all of your hair air dry and curl up to its potential, then wet the top and braid after. But I like the way this tiny wand makes ringlets and gives me a different type of volume, so I'm switching it up today. I have it set on low heat since I don't need it to be high, which is worse for your hair. And also, depending on your hair type, you can use a different size to curl, make it wavy or straight at this point, whatever you think looks best on you. Then I'm using some bobby pins to pull the hair back from my face a little, which is optional, but I decided to do it this day, and this is what my hair ended up looking like. For makeup, I have my regular foundation and brows on, and I'm adding a medium pink blush that looks good on my skin tone, adding a little bit of bronzer to contour and warm up my face, and then finally an excuse to use my purple highlight, which is so fun and perfect for festivals or spring, and I'm putting that on my cheekbones, on my nose, and under my brows. Of course it's not a festival look without glitter, so I'm using this gorgeous purple glitter liner on my inner corner to make it pop, and then doing a warm nude lip with just liner so it stays on longer. Of course I'm throwing on some lashes for drama, and the makeup is done. To finish off the hair, I'm using the new Aussie Glitter Sprays to bring some glitter up there as well. They come in blue, violet, and pink. And I've played with each one and I love them all, so I'm just layering all of them for some multicolor action. First, you gotta shake it up, and then I'm spraying it all along the part and the braids area. 
and around the buns for a sort of glitter root effect. Then I'm doing the same thing with the pink, which is a delicate, beautiful glitter. And then the same with the blue, which is a deeper kind of sparkle. And don't forget to let it dry between layers of spraying. Lastly, I'm just laying my edges a little and cleaning up around my baby hairs and then topping the whole look off with some clear gloss to add some shine. At this point, the only thing left to do is fluff out your hair, take some cute pics, and smile at all of your hard work paying off. I really love this look and I've done it a couple of times now. I also definitely recommend checking out Ozzy's new line of products. Everything is certified cruelty free and they use quality ingredients that are good for your hair health. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you did and follow me on all of my socials linked in the description box down below. I wish you all a happy, healthy life and I'll see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.